Well guys, we are going to continue with the third video for chapter 4. We are going to continue with the kinetic molecular theory by using maxwell Boltzmann uh, distributions. So the kinetic molecular theories are based on these three postulates after the studies of the gas law met some obstacles. So the first postulate is we say it's, uh, it's in the sense of uh, particles volume. We say that a gas consists of large collections of the individual particles. So the volume of an individual particles is extremely small compared to the volume of the container. So in the essence, the model picture of gas is, uh, as, is pictured as a point of mass with empty space between them. Number two, in terms of particles motions. So we said that uh, gas particles are moved in random constant motions, except when they collide with each other, only then they will change the direction. And last but not least is in terms of particles collisions. We said that collisions are perfectly elastic. That means uh, on, a on colliding, the colliding molecules exchange energies, but they do not lose any energy through frictions. Thus, their activation, total kinetic energy is constant. So between the collisions, the molecule does not influence each other by attraction or uh, attractive or repulsive forces. So uh, this is the Maxwell Boltzmann distribution graph. So given to you, this graph are attributed at three different um, temperature. Now you can see that all of them has the same areas. So when they, they have the same areas, what does it indicate? When they have the same areas, it indicates that they have the same numbers of particles. So now, as we can see, as temperature increase, the following changes has take place. Number one, peak of the graph become lower. So what does this indicate when the peak of the graph become lower? It indicates that lesser particles move at average speeds, uh, while more molecules are travel at high speeds. And based on the peaks become broader also indicates that more particles move at higher speed, or that means they have a higher kinetic energy. So if this is the uh, if this is the kinetic energies uh, area, so uh, if this is the kinetic energy, so you can see that there are more and more uh, areas with high kinetic energy contents. Okay, so this is due to higher temperature. We have part more particles that are moving at a higher energy. Last but not least, we can also see that the peaks are shifting to the right. So when they, when we say that the peaks are shifting to the right, what does it indicate? It actually indicates that the mo uh, average molecule has a higher energy, uh, higher speeds. That means even those which are traveling at a higher uh, average speeds has a higher speed and higher temperature. Okay, so this is what you can explain based, uh, based on the Maxwell Boltzmann distribution graph. Now, not only that this distribution graph can be explained in terms of temperature, this graph can also be explained in terms of molecular mass. So, given to you, this is the max, uh, this is the Maxwell distributions uh, of particles at different molecular mass. So, as you can see, this is for oxygen, nitrogen, water, helium, and neon. So as you can see in here, as the molecular mass of the particles decrease, the peak of the normal distribution also decrease. So this indicates as the particles become lighter, thus the number of particles that travel at average speed also decrease, while more molecules travel at high speed. So similar to temperature, peak also shifts to the right, which indicates that lighter molecules have higher average speeds compared to those which are heavier molecules, as they can move easier with a smaller mass. So basically, this is what Maxwell Boltzmann's distribution can be explained by using in terms of temperature and also in terms of molecular mass. So next, we are going to have a look at the deviations of the gas law from the ideal behavior. We says that the gas law and kinetic molecular theories assume that number one, we says that molecules in the gaseous state do not exert any forces. Therefore, there are no attraction nor repulsive forces by using here. And number two, volume of the molecules are negligibly small. So gas that satisfy these two conditions exhibit ideal behavior, while those which does not obey the two conditions is called as a real gas. So although we can assume that real gas may behave like an ideal gas, we cannot expect them to do so under all conditions. So a real gas can behave almost like an ideal gas at the following condition. Number one, at a very low pressure. So when the volume of the gas is large and the gas molecules are far apart, Thus, the size of the molecule is comparatively small and can consider negligible and has any intermolecular forces is insignificant. Number two, at high temperature. So at high temperature, kinetic energy of the molecules are very high. So the molecules are moving at a very high speed and any intermolecular forces is also negligible. So these are the two conditions where all real gas can behave like an ideal gas. So the derived from the ideal gas equation of one mole for ideal gas where PV goes to nRT, so it's rearranged as PV over RT against one, or simply PV over RT is equal to one. Now this is true uh, for all ideal gas where um, 
all ideal gas we have the n equals to one line in here so this is the maxwell boltzmann uh, this is the uh, uh, line for pv over rt against one for the ideal gas okay so uh, against the changes of pressure that means no matter what pressure is applied to them ideal gas will remain unchanged however we know that in the real uh, reality all real gas cannot obey this ideal gas line however we can see that all of them are stuck at the points uh, at one indicates that at a very low pressure high uh, at a very low pressure all gas can behave like an ideal gas so that is why all of them set the points at the line at 1.0 so the graph shows that under very low pressure all gas can behave like an ideal gas as they all intercept at uh, PV over RT less than 1 so um, as explained above under very low pressure particles are far apart from each other therefore there are no intermolecular forces between these particles hence exhibit the ideal behavior however as you can see as pressure increase some of the particles eventually will divide from the ideal line so um, not that hydrogen and helium are divided positively from the ideal line while other gases such as methane carbon dioxide and ammonia divide negatively from the ideal line so methane carbon dioxide, carbon dioxide and ammonia shows negative deviation first when pressure increase so this is due to negative deviation is has attraction forces that exist between these molecules so as, a, as pressure rises the volume of the sample decreases However, average intermolecular distance becomes smaller and attraction for forces has become greater. As particles approach the, uh, the container of wall, nearby molecules attract in it, which lessen the forces of impact. So as it affects throughout the sample, the resulting decrease of the gas, hence the pressure exerted is lesser than expected, or we say that PV over RT is lesser than 1. So uh, this is the uh, this is the diagram where what does it mean by attraction forces? So when attraction forces it, uh, when attraction forces take place, it causes the particles to collide uh, less frequently. With wall of container. So therefore, uh, pressure is less exerted in this case. So that is why it exhibited a negative deviations from the gas behavior. So note that the negative deviations increase from CH4 to CO2 to NH3. So this can be explained by the type of forces holding in between them. So suppose CH4 and CO2 are nonpolar molecule, and since the molecular mass of CO2 is greater than CH4, so we expect a greater deviations from the uh, CO2. Uh, okay. Uh, and then ammonia uh, are held by strong hydrogen bond therefore ammonia divide the most from the ideal behavior okay okay so this is how we explain in terms of negative deviation now as higher pressure increase so it increases the frequency of collision between the particles significantly as a result repulsion forces take place between the particles and cause the collision with the wall of container increase drastically so as a result the pressure is higher than expected where pv over rt is greater than one at this moment we say that particles exhibited a uh, positive deviations so note that for both helium and hydrogen since they are light gas there are almost no intermolecular forces attraction occur in between them however as pressure increase and increase the frequency of collision between particles they form repulsion forces between their respective particles hence that's why they only have a positive deviations now these ideals are the deviation from the ideal behavior not only can be explained in terms of the particles involved it can also be explained in terms of temperature so from the graph above uh, we can see that so uh, at low temperature it divides more from the ideal behavior as temperature increase it less divide and finally at a very high temperature it only have a positive deviations so from the graph above, we can conclude that lower temperature greater the deviations from the ideal behavior. So this can be associated with the kinetic energy of particles under different temperature. So under low temperature, particles have low kinetic energy and move slowly. So as a result, greater attraction forces exerted, therefore it uh, decreases the frequency of collision with the wall or container and pressure is lesser than expected, which exhibit the negative deviation from the ideality. However, as temperature increase, particles gain more kinetic energy and move faster, 
This reduces the attraction forces even if the pressure increases gradually, as lesser probability of attraction forces taking place, therefore it divides less negatively compared to low temperature. However, at very high temperature, high kinetic energy moves at high speed. Therefore, there are no forces of attraction that take place even pressure is increased. Instead, if these particles collide at very high pressure, repulsive forces take place at high speed, higher frequency of collision with the wall con container. Therefore, pressure is higher than expected, or PV over RT is greater than 1, which exhibits what we so-called as a positive deviation from the ideal behavior. Okay, so with this, that will be all for the explanations for the deviations from the ideal gas law. So I shall see you in the next video. See ya!